Avian Fashion stopped selling the flock suit. But don't worry, I can tell you where to get it. I love this one. Just so you have a comparison. Happy New Year. Welcome back to Run the House Hen. I'm Ashley and I want to talk about the Avian Fashions flock suit that has moved over to Featherwear Shop. They are the same sewers of the diapers so you are going to get the same design and the same quality. I actually have quite a few of these that I've purchased maybe like three years ago, two years ago that I used on many birds. I've used these on actually every single bird that I've ever had. It costs $36. These are available in the US and they'll ship internationally to a handful of countries that you can find on the dropdown on their website. In terms of style, we've got a tail loop. We've got some tummy fabric, which I don't mind so much on this design and a few points of adjustability. You can close it on the tail. Both straps are adjustable and the back strap is designed such that you can close it here or you can also make it tighter. The closure type is Velcro, so it's very easy to open and close. The fabric on these ones is pretty unique. It's Lycra, so it feels like a bathing suit and it actually makes it really easy to clean. For the interior fabric, it feels like a polyurethane laminate, which works well in so many other diapers. Obviously you can see mine is a little stained. This particular diaper is probably like three years old. They have a sizing chart on their website where it lists a bunch of breeds of chickens and the size that they think would fit them best. Tina is a Seabright and next to Seabright it says petite. And I have a petite diaper here that I used to use on Peach. Peach was a Frazzle Sarama and she was quite a bit shorter than Tina and more round, but they were the same weight. Both of them weighed 1.2 pounds. Tina does fit in the petite size that they've recommended for her on their website, but I found that the extra small is actually a better fit for her. When I put this one on, I have a little bit of trouble getting it over her head. I think that she could use more length in the body and in the straps. So the extra small is actually a much better fit for her. And to show you a comparison on this extra small, there's a bit more length for her long body. She's a taller bird. The extra small is pretty much a perfect fit for her. I will note that even birds of the same breed might wear different diaper sizes. So this extra small could also fit my beloved Wren, but Wren was a little bit bigger and taller than Tina. So these straps were a little bit too short on her. I knew that having more room in the straps would be just more comfortable for her. I made my own adjustments to a flock suit just for Wren. And you'll see, this is the same extra small that I was showing you before. This is the original, but I cut out the straps and I put new ones in that could be made much longer and thus more comfortable for Wren. Obviously, I'm not that good at sewing, um, but it worked on her. This is the petite. It's a size one and it fit peach. This is the extra small that fits Tina. And this is the extra small with the modification I made for Wren just so you have a comparison. Now, if I'm gonna spend $36 on a diaper, which by the way is worth it when it's a product you can trust and you know is gonna last you a long time, but if it's $36, I don't wanna have to make my own adjustments to it. I did see a comment somewhere, I can't remember if it was in my YouTube comments or somewhere on Facebook, that somebody requested a modification be made to the standard sizing of the flock suit and they happily made that adjustment for them. My hot tip, and this applies to any diaper brand, if you're having sizing issues, you can ask to see if they can make a modification for you. Almost all diapers that are available are sewn at home and not mass produced in a factory. So they do have that flexibility to adjust the sizing. That doesn't guarantee that they can make you a custom fit, but it's worth asking. Like I said, I've had these for a few years now. So there is some pilling on the material. Let's go ahead and put this diaper on her but not before I get her relaxed and comfortable. The last thing I want is for this to be a stressful experience for her. First, I hold her between my knees and secure the tail strap around her tail. 
Then I'm taking the tummy fabric and the elastic straps and setting them between her legs up over her shoulders so that I can secure it to the tail loop. It's important to make sure that the tummy fabric and the straps are not compressing her crop in any way, and I'll also adjust her wings to make sure they're not stuck in the poop pouch. You wanna hang out on your bungee? You're having fun? Are you having a good day? You're nice and sweet. I love how sweet you are. Snuggling? I'd like for you to come snuggle. It would be nice. It would be nice for both of us. Love you. Mm -hmm. You're sweet. You're very sweet. This is happy for everyone involved. Yeah, it is. I want to give you an idea of how the petite size fits Tina. It's not our preferred size, but it can work. Of course, it's tummy time right now, so I have to cater to that instead of taking shots of what the diaper actually looks like. Now, I've previously mentioned that tummy fabric gets in the way of giving great tummy rubs, but it's not impossible. You can rub on top of the fabric or around it. You just probably won't get the same melting, purring, blissful effect that the purest form of tummy rubs may bring. Look at little Tina. You're sweet to know. Sweet girl. So that's the flock suit. It's been around a while and it's a reliable choice for so many chickens. Of course, experiences with diapers vary from bird to bird. So if you've used the flock suit before, be sure to share your experience about the sizing and the quality in the comments below so other people who are interested in making a purchase can see if it's an option that might be suitable for their bird.